in this video we'll be looking into the issues in designing of a code generator so we know that the input is taken as the source program and in the front end we have lexical analyzer semantic analyzer and syntax analyzer that is called as the front end so from there we get the intermediate code which is given as the input to code optimizer from code optimizer we get the optimized intermediate code which is taken as input to the code generator and from code generator we uh, obtain the target program code generator is the last phase of compiler here so we'll deal uh, we'll now look into the issues which might arise when we are designing a code generator so the first issue deals with the input to code generator so here the input is intermediate code right so that is produced by the front end along with info from the in symbol table so so symbol table com comprises of several information or the relative address so to obtain the output these uh, the values in the symbol table are accessed so the input here could be of many choices it could be a three address representation that is it could be a quadruple triple or indirect triple or it could be a virtual machine representation that is it could be in byte codes or stack machine code or it could be in linear representation that is the postfix expression or it could be in the graphical representation that is in form of the syntax tree or DAG that is directed acyclic graph. So here we assume that front end has scanned, front end has scanned the source program. So the input passed it and translated the source program and all syntactic and static semantic errors have been taken care of. So here we don't look at the errors, we don't look into rectifying the errors, we directly take the input which might lead to issues sometimes. So we assume that the input is free from any kind of errors. So that's one of the issues uh, related to designing of, uh, designing of code generator. Looking at the second issue, we have the target program. So the output from the code generator gives us the target program. So here target program could be of following types. So here it could be absolute machine code that is it is placed in a fixed location in memory and can be executed. So for this no further processing is required we can uh, we can directly execute the uh, code. So this is used for small programs but then we have another type that is relocatable machine code that is uh, you can relocate it anywhere you can load the program anywhere and execute it. It comprises of object codes also. Here we make use of linker and loader. So when we talk about linker and loader, uh, it requires extra space and memory. So while designing a code generator, we make sure that um, the space is less and the memory occupied is less and the speed is more. So while you by using this, um, the, there is, uh, we are reducing the speed and the memory. So then we have assembly, lab, assembly level language. So this is compared to these two, this is the easier one. So it is used by target machine having small memory. So it is compatible when we have small memory also. Next, the third issue we have here is memory management. So issues related to memory management and code generator are significant as they impact efficiency and reliability of generated code. So there could be uh, the issues have been explained here. The first one is memory leak. So if there is a failure to release the memory, then release the memory properly, then it could lead to memory leakage. So when memory is allocated, but never deallocated, eventually that memory is wasted, right? Uh, that, that memory, that particular memory is being occupied by that uh, function or that operation and it leads to wastage of all resources. So that is one of the issues. Then we have dangling pointers that is generating a code that references memory that has been deallocated. Yeah, dangling pointers like if you if you visit that particular memory location, it's null. It does not exist. So by by this, it can lead to undefined behavior. It could lead to crash or security vulnerabilities. So other in issues also include insufficient memory usage. So the memory is not being properly used and then it could also lead to fragmentation and concurrent concurrency issues. So this was about the memory management. Now we'll look into the, uh, the fourth problem, the fourth issue that is instruction selection. So while selecting the instructions, it is very important. It is very important to select the instruction properly. So 
nature of instruction set of target machine has a strong impact or effect on the code generation so the factors affecting the instruction selection are uniformity completeness of instruction set instruction speed and machine idioms so quality of instruction is uh, determined by the speed and the size so let's consider a uh, example the we have x is equal to x plus 1 so for that if we write the assembly level code we'll write load r1x that is x is being loaded in R, r1 first and then add hash 1 so intermediate value the immediate value hash 1 is being added with r1 and it is again stored in r1 and then store r1 in x so the values are uh, stored in x instead of this so here we have three instructions whereas we can use i and c increment of x so when you use increment of x x is being incremented by one so compared to this and this instruction this instruction takes less time and it executes at a faster rate so uh, instruction selection plays a very important role then we have register allocation so the use of register is often divided into subdivided into two sub problems the first one is to allocate that is a register allocation so here we select the set of variables that will reside inside the register and the other one is register assignment in which we'll select the register will uh, select the specific register in which the variables will reside so finding optimal assignment register assignment is very difficult so it comes under uh, np complete problem so the next we have evaluation order so the order in which computations are performed can affect the efficiency so there could be uh, computations which require fewer registers to hold intermediate value intermediate result than others so in that case the computations with uh, lesser registers need to be evaluated first so picking best order in general case is a difficult np complete problem so this is also an np complete problem so i hope uh, you have understood the issues in designing of a code generator if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you